Hello everybody! Today we're doing a video about showing off all the D-pads. <laughs> um, I'm not so sure why I'm doing this, but I thought it might be fun. This is not all the D-pads, of course, but these are all the D-pads on the systems that I own. So I'll just be showing off these, and then, yeah. So starting over here with the Nintendo Entertainment System. This was one of the first D-pads besides the Game & Watch. And it actually is pretty nice. It's pretty responsive. The buttons definitely press good. I don't know, it's just a great D-pad. You see the arrows on there, it just looks nice. Um, definitely not the best D-pad, but for one of the first, it's definitely really nice. Then moving on from the Nintendo Entertainment System, the next console in line is the Sega Genesis. This D-pad is a little weird to me. It, it feels a little too loose. I don't know, you see like, you're pressing it and it just kind of wobbles around. I mean, it works, but it just, I don't know, it just feels like it wouldn't be very responsive. I'm not, I, I'm not much of a fan of this one, but it does, it does do what it's meant to do. Then next in line was the Game Boy, and they, they pretty much just took what the Nintendo Entertainment System did and slapped it on here, but took out the arrows. So, yeah, it works. Um, I don't, I don't see a problem with it. It's responsive. It works well. Then moving on from the Game Boy... We've got the Super Nintendo D-Pad. This one brought back the arrows, clearly, and I don't know, it, I feel like the Nintendo Entertainment System one feels like a little more responsive than the Super Nintendo one. I'm not sure why, but it just feels kind of loose in there. I don't know. Then moving on, we've got the original PlayStation. This D-Pad completely changed from the full-on D-Pads into a series of buttons. It works for what it is, um, I'm not sure. Just a little odd how it's not like a full set, but then they would clearly be stealing the Nintendo Inter uh, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, which you can definitely see a resemblance. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all right. Then moving on from the PlayStation, we've got the Nintendo 64, and this thing is just kind of realizing how huge this is. But this D-pad, it honestly doesn't get used much, but it's, I think so far my favorite one out of all of these. It just feels nice. Like, definitely clicks. It's a good size. It sticks out a good amount. I don't know. I like this one. It's got the arrows on it, of course, which, you know, they've been doing ever since the entertainment system, but they stole it from the Game Boy. I don't know why. After the 64 is the Dreamcast. And I, I don't know how to feel about this one. It's just, it feels like it sticks out too much, but it still doesn't move too much. It works, but honestly, you're not really using this one too much. It's just like the joystick, but I don't know. I, I'm not too much of a fan of this one. Then moving on from the Dreamcast all the way to the PS2. This one is about the exact same as the PlayStation 1. It feels a little better, though. So, I don't know. You can. It just feels like it'll press more than the P PlayStation. It just doesn't go down as much as the PS2. Then from the PS2 is the GameCube, and this one just feels really small. It, it's like my entire thumb can cover up the entire D-pad. I, I don't know, it's just not one of my favorite, like, I, I don't, it's so small. That's the main problem with it. They could have just, I don't know, this one's a lot better. It doesn't get used too often, so it, it's fine, but still, it's just really tiny. And then now we've got Xbox first Xbox D-pad, and this one's pretty cool. I mean, it works for what it is. It's it's kind of a different thing. It's a circle this time, which is a little weird. It's been a series of buttons to just a cross to a circle. I mean, it's responsive, so it works, it works pretty well. I like this one, but I still think either the 64 or the PS2 is my favorite so far. But, I'm liking this one. Then to the Game Boy Advance SP. This is such a small D-pad, it's just so flat. It works really well though, I I don't know, I like that one, it's just... <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to be flat, so you can close the, close the top. But, I don't know, it just feels so small. Then moving on from here, we've got the 360, and they brought back the circle D-pad. And this one just looks so weird, like, <laughs> what are they doing? Um... I, I don't know. I like this one. I've gotten used to it after owning the Xbox 360 for a while. So I'm not sure 
it, it's just a little weird that it's a circle. It's like, and then they changed the shape from, you know, a kind of normal cross to like, I, I don't even know. Then moving on from 360, we've got the DS Lite. And this one, I don't know, something about it, it just feels like it's mushy. I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure how to explain it, but I kind of like that because it's like not... It won't leave like a mark on your fingers when you're like playing a game like like New Super Mario Bros. or something. So I don't know, I kind of like that one. Moving on from DS Lite, we have the Wii Remote. So, I'm not sure about this. I mean, I, I've always used this one when playing like, what, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. So, I've gotten like very used to it. To the point where it might be my favorite one, so far at least. But, I don't know, it's just, after a while of holding what right it it'll leave a mark on your finger so i don't know so far i think that one might be my favorite one i don't i've just gotten so used to that one moving on from we we have the dsi and i don't i don't know something about this one i really like because i i got what new super marbles on the on here and then i just started playing it on here because this one just feels so nice it just definitely presses but you don't have to press too hard to like know you're making an input I don't know something about that one's really nice so that one might be my favorite so far moving on from the DSi we've got the 3DS XL I mean I don't have the normal 3DS because I don't know I'd rather have the the XL version but I don't know this d-pad feels like it's too stiff and it's a little sharp I don't I don't know something about that one I kind of wish they just took the DSi d-pad and you know slapped it on here but yeah, I don't know, not the best. Then from 3DS to the Wii U, and I honestly think this might be my favorite D-pad. It's like, it feels amazing. You know you're making an input on it. I, I It just feels really nice. It's like a great size. I, I don't know, I really like that one. From Wii U to Switch. Okay, now what? Are, are we just are we just copying PlayStation now with Nintendo? What, what what is this? This is just buttons. You you've been doing the freaking cross D-pad for years, and then you go to buttons. I I don't know. I don't really like that one. <laughs> but from the Joy Cons, we go to the Pro Controller, and they brought back the, the the cross. And then they also did it on the Switch Lite. So like, what 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 were the buttons about? Now I'm going to be using the process of elimination here to find the best D-pad. So I think my least favorite... I'm sorry, Genesis, but... I I don't like how loose this one is. It's just... I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> it's... It works. I mean, all of them are pretty good, but like... It just feels so like... It's too... Large. That's what she said! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but... It works, it's just not great. Next, I'd probably have to go with the Joy-Cons. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, it's so different and it's like kind of annoying because it just looks like there's so many buttons. A simple D-pad would have been so much better. So, it, it wor again, it works, but it's just not great. The next one, I think I'd have to go with the Dreamcast. It just, it sticks out too much. I. Uh, like I'm going to say for all of these, they're good, but they're just not the best. So, I don't know. It just, it should, I feel like it should be like lower and it shouldn't, it should probably go down a little more. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it presses all the way. Next. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe, <laughs> maybe the PS1. Uh, I don't know. The, the PS2 is somehow miles better than this one. It just feels like it, it should go down more, it should press better, it's, it's just not great. I think next would be the GameCube, just because of the size of it and how my entire thumb can cover the whole button up. I mean, it should just be like a little larger, and it would probably be <laughs> one of my I think favorites. next is the Super Nintendo. It If you see, when I'm just messing with it, it just, it's so loose in there. Next, we're probably going to have to go with the 3DS. It just feels a little too stiff, and I, it's just not very comfortable. Next, I think, would be the Xbox 360, unfortunately. I mean, I like this one personally, but it just, it's just weird as a circle, and then the shape is just a little odd. I think next would be the Pro Controller, 
the material of it just it just feels like a little odd i it's not the normal like plastic of this one where it's smoother this one just feels more and rough we're down to our final 10 d-pads and i think next might be the game boy <laughs> it works I, I i i don't know it just it I, it feels like it doesn't press as much as it should and next goes to the xbox it just again same problem with the game boy it doesn't go down far enough it like feels like you should be get more of a press in it even though these are all good d-pads it just sorry but it's next, next is ps2 um i don't know i like this one personally but it just it's just the same problem some of these just don't go down and they just feel like i'm not pressing them the next one to go is the ds light it just it feels mushy for some reason i mean that's that's a good thing but like it feels like it's a little too mushy. The next to go is the original Nintendo Entertainment System controller. It's it's really good, but sorry. Next would probably be the Game Boy Advance SP. It's just really flat, and that's pr that's probably my only issue with it. The next one to go probably the Nintendo 64. It's big, but you see how much it goes down? Not very much, but. It's still nice. I wish it was incorporated in, like, more games, but most of the 64 games were in 3D, so, you know. Next probably goes to Wii. Only problem is, when you're playing, like, a long session of New Super Mario Bros. Wii or something, you're gonna get an indent on your finger of the D-pad. The final two. The Wii U gamepad, or the DSi. This one feels really nice, and it definitely, like, you can hear it clicking. I don't know if you can really hear it, but... But, it definitely does click. But I think the Wii U wins. It just feels like really nice, smooth, but like not too, not too, like, I don't know. It's just really well done. Congratulations, Wii U. You win the D-pad challenge. And I've got to clean my Wii U gamepad because it gets like fingerprints all over it. That's a problem with you. Anyway, thank you for watching this. And yeah, I like D-pads.